here we are on the first module. We're going to talk about uh, what exactly innovation ecosystems are, just to give us uh, an overview to what we're talking about here before we jump into more practical uh, considerations uh, as to how to build them. Um, so start here, what is innovation? Uh, innovation is a value adding process of creating and applying new ideas towards changing existing ways of doing things. So uh, it involves the creation of new ideas and the application of those ideas towards creating new products, services, or configurations um, that are going to enable people to uh, achieve things uh, in new ways and create value uh, for them in so doing. And we can call that process of doing that innovation. Of course, what we're talking about here is uh, uh, innovation ecosystems, which is really the question of how do you uh, do those kinds of changes, introduce new practices, new ways of doing things uh, through a whole network of actors or brought about as a uh, combination, a constellation of different uh, organizations, different individuals uh, towards the creation and application of those new ideas. So uh, this is uh, innovation ecosystems. Innovation is about uh, connecting uh, diverse elements in new and, and synergistic ways. And it's really that uh, the, the way that we, the synergies, the way that we connect those parts um, that's creating the value. Uh, when this is taken to the systems level, the aggregate level, it means connecting people and organizations in new configurations to realize new functional capabilities that none uh, could meet on their own. Um, and this gives them a, an overall capacity to meet more complex challenges. An innovation ecosystem uh, is then a set of players, uh, knowledge, processes, connections, and resources that make innovation happen through a combination of parallel, systemic, and um, decentralized activities. So it's a network of uh, individuals or organizations. Uh, we can also think about it as a community, uh, but ultimately, we're trying to build this network to address some kind of complex challenge. So we're bringing together um, different resources, different capabilities, different organizations, um, and putting them together in a in synergistic ways, in an integrated and coordinated fashion to address some complex challenge that they could not uh, address on their own. So this could be the creation of a um, battery industry in the UK for storing electricity. Um, in the future smart grid, we're going to need a lot of uh, capacity to store electricity, new forms of um, batteries and technologies to do that that doesn't exist at the moment. No one organization could really fulfill that function um, in terms of providing those um, new storage capacities across the entire grid for, for a nation like France or, or wherever it is, Germany. And we're actually going to need a whole pile of actors to work around that challenge. And the ecosystem um, is what we need to do that because there, there need to be uh, capabilities and individuals and organizations from many different areas, you know, in government regulation, in um, investors, in, in, you know, technology, R&D, universities, uh, the commercialization of it, businesses, so on and so forth. Um, so all those different capacities would need to be connected together over a long period uh, to address uh, this complex challenge of uh, realizing uh, a new capacity within that, that grid to be able to store electricity over long periods uh, as it, as will be needed. Um, so this is a way of thinking about it, uh, the need for systemic collaboration of why do we need these uh, ecosystems? And the aim is really to shift from piecemeal uh, competition or lack of collaboration to more systemic forms of collaboration. So if we go into most areas, most industries, uh, we'll see something that looks like um, this graphic on the left where there are many different organizations uh, doing their own thing, recreating the wheel, trying to solve the problem. Um, there are, of course, some kinds of collaborations there, depending how developed uh, this is, but they're piecemeal in essence, and there's a lot of uh, competition. Um, everybody's racing to develop the next electric car or whatever it is. Um, and no one's really collaborating around that entire infrastructure that would be needed to introduce uh, electric cars. So we're trying to shift to this uh, right-hand side uh, where we're getting systemic collaboration. The ecosystem is that 
is that network uh, and there's a platform. What we're building here as ecosystem builders is that platform for enabling that more systemic uh, form of collaboration and the emergence of uh, this new infrastructure uh, that will be needed. So that's a little bit about uh, what innovation ecosystems are uh, and why we uh, develop them. So let's get going. Here's some, some of the key aspects uh, of innovation ecosystems. Um, they may be somewhat counterintuitive to our, our thinking, uh, which is often reductionist. And we're very well versed, um, particularly in business and um, startups and technology about thinking about individual organizations and um, how to solve problems through them. Uh, this ecosystem concept is, is a holistic one in the sense that it's the combination um, of of different different organizations so it's it requires a more holistic kind of approach uh, value is realized at the aggregate level not at the specific organization or solution right so um if we just want to develop lots of you know really good organizations lots of individual solutions that's a different kind of problem right um that's a more analytical technical kind of problem a kind of closed box if you want to build an ecosystem it's something that's more open it's more networked it's more about the value that's created as a whole and more about uh, looking at the connections between the parts so that's one aspect uh that the value is created at the aggregate level and that requires us to actually look at the aggregate level the aggregate level i mean the whole um, of the uh, network so they're more uh, dynamic we're not looking for a um, fixed solution to this problem because it's normally very complex. Um, what would be another example? You know, we think about uh, climate resilience within a city, um, Mexico City. Let's just take that as an example. Um, climate uh, change um, is going to affect uh, all cities and many aspects of those cities. Um, and there is no solution to climate change, really. Uh, all cities around the world are going to have to adapt to it, and it's going to be a complex and systemic challenge. It'll be multidimensional. Um, so there's no fixed point where we can say this is done. What we're trying to build is an infrastructure of collaboration so that these actors can continuously work together and learn, adapt, innovate, and get better at responding to this challenge. Um, so there's no endpoints, uh, and we're always motivated to improve, um, and we're trying to build the infrastructure for that. Uh, there needs to be some kind of a commons involved here. Um, so this goes back to the, you know, the aggregate thing um, that it's about a group. It's not about the individuals. Uh, so in an ecosystem, we're implying that there is some commons, uh, like a pasture where we all put our, our cows, should we say, and um, that commons needs to be maintained in some way. We're sharing something, right? So if you have that example, the battery, um, developing the battery industry for the UK grid or the German grid, um, it's going to require, that's going to work better if there is sharing of resources, sharing of knowledge, sharing of information. Um, and there'll probably need to be some body like the government that's actually supporting that that common, that common infrastructure. Um, okay, so let's stay going. They're networked. Uh, so an ecosystem is a strong sharing network capable of integrating a large array of resources and cap capacities on demand in an effective way so yeah it's about the connections the synergies the way we put things together and it is a community um we do need to remember that i think sometimes we, we forget about it we think about the money we think about the technology um but behind that is is people and fundamentally an innovation ecosystem is first of all a community of people who are trying to uh, work together to address some kind of a, a challenge. Uh, so we shouldn't forget that dimension to it. Okay, so those are key aspects of innovation ecosystems and let's uh, stay going. So when do we need uh, one of these ecosystems? Um, and we should be questioning, you know, before we get started as ecosystem builders, do we actually need one in the context of what we're trying to achieve? So the whole point here is that we're actually trying to achieve something. We're trying to do something by building this ecosystem. We're not just doing it um, for the fun of it or randomly or so forth. Um, 
So if in the case you have a specific challenge you want to tackle as an organization or group of organizations, well, then you probably don't need an innovation or ecosystem. It's going to cost time, energy, resources, and so forth to actually build one of these. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of that is, and it is definitely going to take time. It's a big investment over a long period of time. So you probably don't want to do it unless you need to. If you have a specific problem uh, that one organization could solve, you don't need one, right? Just focus on that organization. Try and get the best organization, the best people and so forth, the best persons and, and stay developing a product or service to do that. Um, if it's just a group of organizations, that can be a consortium or something like this. You, again, you don't need an ecosystem um, in that context. When do we need them? Well, we want to create an infrastructure for collaboration and innovation around a long-term complex challenge. Um, so that's when we do need uh, an ecosystem when there is no uh, single solution to this and no one organization can 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 solve this you know it might be addressing cancer for example um that's going to take a very long time for us to develop the capacities to do that it might be um hydrogen technology it might be addressing homelessness within a city um we struggle with that or poverty within a nation should we say no one organization is going to be able to do that. It's really going to take um, the combined effort uh, and capacities across many. Over a long period of time, there's a lot of learning, a lot of uh, figuring out how we work together. What is the challenge? Um, how can we best work around that challenge? And that really does take time. And no one organization is going to be able to do that. So you really do need an infrastructure um, of collaboration and um coordination that is this uh, ecosystem approach. And that's when we, we would be building uh, an ecosystem. So building ecosystems or ecosystem building, we would also called it systems building um, during these tutorials, is um, it's an entrepreneurial activity, yes, but it's a bit different from uh, starting a startup in the way that an ecosystem is different from an individual organization. So entrepreneurship is a new uh, value creation through introducing new products or services within a specific organization and developing and building that uh, over time. Um, innovation ecosystem building is creation of new value networks through the integration alignment of parts towards creating uh, systems change, systemic change. Uh, so it's about building networks, whereas the first is about um, you know business models and startups and, and individual organizations and product market fit and so forth. The second um, is about building networks, um, new uh, ways of coordinating, connecting, and so forth. So slightly different challenge, uh, slightly different set of resources and capabilities needed uh, to do this from the ecosystem uh, builder, but in some in some ways similar. Both are trying to create value. Um, both are trying to bring new things uh, into the market or into that context uh, and change the way we do things. Um, but one is more on the micro level, more... Um, confined, more amenable to kind of reductionist thinking. The other is more open, more networked, and requires this more holistic way of looking at things. So uh, we will uh, wrap up there, but just take a look at this quote uh, before we do from Mark uh, Ventresca, which captures it very well, what we're trying to do here. The elements of new opportunities, the elements of new combinations are around. They're available to us. It just takes pulling them together in new and different kinds of ways. And that skill is a system building skill. That's what we're doing. We're trying to build together, bring together. We're trying to see the opportunities. We're trying to see the resources available to us um, and how we can point, bring them together, um, connect them, um, and build the capacities for innovation um, around a given challenge through a network of individuals and organizations.